All right, so in this video, I want to quickly show you what's a with block in VBA code. Let's create a quick subroutine. Give it some name. Let's say I'm trying to do something with this F2 cell. So I can do that by doing range F2. We can do different things here. Let's start by, for example, changing the interior color. It would basically be the background color. And we'll set it to, I'll just use some number here for now. So if I run this code, you'll see it sets the color to that color. Now, let's say I want to do something else with that cell. So I'm gonna do range again. Again, the same cell. So this time I want to change the font color. So I'll do font. Now we do the font color and I'll set it to some color. So again, if I run this, now we run both of those codes. Now we have both colors there. Let's say we want to do something else with this. Let's say I want to change the value of the cell. Maybe we also want to change the cell formatting. So that will be the number format. And I'll just change it to, I believe this is general formatting. So basically no format. And maybe I'll finally offset one to the right and change the value of this G2 cell as well. So again, I'm gonna do that F2 cell and do offset zero rows, one column and do the value of that cell and make it 77. So if I run this, you'll see all of those things will happen. Now I'm just gonna clear this, change it back to currency, put some other number in here. Let me run this so we can see that all of those things are actually happening. And here we go. So we did all of these things with this range F2. I'm gonna delete this and just clear all of that again. And now let's get to the main topic that we're here for. So what with blocks allows you to do is to avoid repeating the same object over and over and over. Now the object here is this range F2. So what I can do, I can say with range F2. And then I'm gonna do end with because when you open with block, you have to close it with this end with. And because we're in this with block, now if I do dot, it's gonna give us all these properties for this range that was selected with that with block, this object. And it's gonna have pretty much the same thing. So if I do like interior, color equals to 123 and then I can do font color equals to 255. So basically the same things I did here, only I don't have to do this range F2 every time anymore. So I can just pretty much copy paste the same thing and get rid of the beginning part of this. Something like this, the rest is gone. We can make this nicer. And now if I run this, same thing should happen. So basically this allows us to just pick an object, in this case that's a range, and do a bunch of things with it without having to repeat the object name. And this could be, for example, instead of range, you could also do cells two, one, that would be second row, first column, so A2. So if I run this, it's gonna work the same way. Now it's just gonna do it here. This could also be your active cell or your selection. And if you're working with a single cell, that's kind of the same thing. So if I click on this and I run this, see it's gonna do all of that to that cell and then go one right and do that 77 thing. 
the offset and this should work for a whole range as well like this because selection is also a range yeah so long story short we have the object and we do a bunch of things with it in this case that object is a range selection cells or range are all range and this should give us all the base we need to be able to read all the code that macro recorder is going to produce for us and understand what's actually going on there but for this video we're done thanks for watching please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one